So as I mentioned in a previous video about Sidramatic, um, I was really happy to uh, go ahead and make a video on it. And it is one of my favorite practices in manifesting. And I will demonstrate you now how to do it. And you know, there are different ways how to create sigils, but you know, these are one of the ways of how you can create sigils um, without using, you know, letters and then crossing out, um, you know, repeated alphabets and um, repeated letters, I'm sorry, and um, the vowels. So, yeah. So, when you want to manifest something, you know, you create something that represents uh, what you want to manifest, like, like a new house you know you can draw something that can symbolize a house or it could just be metaphoric basically and you can use letters and then you know create the sigils out of the letters I can cross them out and cross out the vowels the few letters and then cross the vowels and yeah so what you want to do is you want to center yourself you want to like get into a relaxed state so you can visualize it or feel it at a deeper level so you know how I do it is just breathe your diaphragm and of course you hold it as long as you can and do it repeatedly until you are completely relaxed and well grounded and then you can visualize what it is that you want to manifest. Maybe, you know, a romantic relationship. Or something else. <laughs> um, well, I'll show you how it goes. And I can see I have my candles lit. So, you want to... You can make it symbolic as possible if you want. And you know, you don't have to have really good art skills to draw a sigil. <laughs> Each part of the sigil can have a, a specific reputation on what you want to manifest. Or it doesn't have to be. My art skills is rusty. <laughs> so excuse that. But that's okay. Because what really matters is your intent. Now, you can be creative as possible if you want, or this simple. Now, it is optional that you can create a circle around it, two circles that look like the demonic sigils if you want. Um, obviously, there could be like more to it that you want to add. They don't have to always connect with each other, like uh, sigils are usually are well, in a cliche way. Um, So yeah, you can make it symbolic, you can create an eye <laughs> if you want, or alchemical elements, you know, just to add more energy to it, and such. And of course, yeah, that's the iron cross supposed to be. Sigils are actually pretty fun because you're being creative and you know I like being creative and I bet you do too. So now how do you want to charge a sigil is like I mentioned previously before in the previous video, you want to use blood. You know that's optional and be responsible how you use that, how you do it. And um, you know, just be careful and if somebody else is involved, be careful, make sure what are you using is sterilized. And if you want, you can like project your your sexual energy. If you're not like you know having fun with yourself, <laughs> or if you are with or with somebody else, you know, use your imagination of what you can do. I mean, you know, if it's with somebody else, 
um, you can project that energy where you get that, that climax and you project it towards the sigil where you visualize the sigil while you climax, which is another form of, you know, of sex magic. And I will make a video on that next. And then, um, so another way is, of course, you can fold up the paper and you can burn it in a candle, in the fire, because um, obviously fire is a uh, powerful element. And, you know, you can even feel that energy from the fire. And it's very uh, tremendous. It is extraordinary energy and I can definitely vouch for that because I am um, a fire sign of Sagittarius so so there's so much passionate energy there and um, another way of charging it um, if you want to use your sexual energy you know you can build up on it you, you know visualize something whatever it gets you you know feeling that and you could take that energy and if you're not like you know climaxing but you just want to build that energy you can you know just um project it you know when you get enough energy built up you know it's kind of like a dragon ball z when they like powering up and then all of a sudden this guy turns super saiyan 3. so you're not going to literally turn super saiyan 3 trust me i tried so you know there's many creative ways how you can charge it even if you have so much anger or feeling your excitement like i am and you know whatever energy <coughs> Excuse me. Um, even if you're playing music and you build up that energy, uh, like I mentioned before, project it to the sigil, and you know, just have fun with it. You know, be creative with your sigil. You know, it brings up more energy to it. Anyways, when you're being creative, you know, and that creativity comes from the sacral chakra, and that's where the sexual energy comes from. And so, when you're being creative and projecting that, you know, as you're drawing your sigil, uh, that's actually pretty compatible. That's pretty freaking good. So, you know, have fun with creating your sigils, be creative, you know, think of something, and after you're done charging it, you know, you could like burn it, whatever, tear it up, something, throw it away, or you could keep it, um, but you know, as long as you forget what you're manifesting, you know, you have to like let go of the attachment of what you're manifesting so it can like come to you, because you're telling the universe that, hey, I forgot, you know, I don't know like what it is, because you're not attached to it, and when you release the attachments, you surrender, you know, it comes to you, you tell the universe that you're not so attached and, you know, you're allowing it to come to you, you're allowing it to flow to you. So, you know, have a good time with your sigil, chaos magic, be creative, and I would love to, um, you know, hear about your experience in the comments. Uh, subscribe, share it, thumbs up, you know, um, get it out there. So have a good time.